What is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison between two quantities having the same unit. Take a look at this example. There are three blue squares and one orange square. What is the ratio of blue squares to orange squares? We can show this ratio in different ways. We can use the colon to separate the numbers or we can show it as a fraction. In this video, we will use the numbers that are separated by a colon to show ratios. In a ratio, if we multiply or divide one of the numbers, the same process must be applied to the other numbers. For example, 3 to 1 is the same as 3 times 2 to 1 times 2. This is equivalent to doubling the number of blue and orange boxes. Since there are now 6 blue boxes and 2 orange boxes, our new ratio is 6 to 2. Now suppose we have another 2 green boxes. The ratio of orange boxes to green boxes is then 1 to 2. The ratio 3 to 1 compares the number of blue boxes to orange boxes while the ratio 1 to 2 compares the number of orange boxes to green boxes. Can we combine these two ratios? Yes, we can. Observe that the orange box is a common element of both ratios. It is also known as the common member of the two ratios. We will use the common member to combine the ratios. Notice that the common member of both ratios is written on top of one another like this. This makes it easier to see how the ratios are combined later on. Since the numbers corresponding to the common member of the two ratios are equal, we can combine the two ratios like this. The ratio 3 to 1 to 2 is known as a continued ratio. A continued ratio expresses the relationship between the three quantities. Let's try another example. Given these two ratios, A to B is equal to 2 to 3 and B to C is equal to 2 to 5, can we still combine them? In this case, B is the common member of the two ratios. However, observe that the numbers corresponding to the common member of the two ratios are unequal. So we cannot combine the two ratios yet. We need to make these equal. We do so by multiplying the numbers in the top ratio by 2 to get 4 to 6 and multiplying the numbers in the bottom ratio by 3 to get 6 to 15. Notice that now the common element is 6. So the continued ratio is 4 to 6 to 15. One way of looking at this ratio is that there are 4 blue squares to 6 orange squares to 15 green squares. To obtain the continued ratio, we follow the following steps. We get the first number of the continued ratio by multiplying the first number of the top ratio with the first number of the bottom ratio. We get the second number of the continued ratio by multiplying the first number of the bottom ratio with the second number of the top ratio. Lastly, we get the third number of the continued ratio by multiplying the second number of the top ratio with the second number of the bottom ratio. Time for an exercise. If A to B is equal to 3 to 2 and B to C is equal to 5 to 4, then find A to B to C. First, we write the two ratios such that the numbers corresponding to the common member are written as one on top of the other. Recalling the procedure, we get the first number by multiplying 3 with 5, which gives us 15. We get the second number by multiplying 5 with 2, which gives us 10. We get the third number by multiplying 2 with 4, which gives us 8. 
so the continued ratio is 15 to 10 to 8. In this video, we learned how to find continued ratios. If the numbers corresponding to the common member of the ratios are equal, such as 3 to 1 and 1 to 2, the ratios can be simply combined as 3 to 1 to 2. If the numbers corresponding to the common member of the ratios are unequal, such as 2 to 3 and 2 to 5, we have to multiply the ratios to obtain the same value for the common member.